guys, Carpet Farmers back again. Today we're going to be doing another 3D printing video. This time I'm going to be using the new 3D printer that I got recently um, to make this here jerry can. Well, I'll be making a couple of them. But this here printer is different, it doesn't use plastic, it uses resin instead. And I'll show you what it looks like and how it works in just a minute. But I'm getting this, I'm not making this myself, I'm getting this here file off this website called Thingiverse. And there's loads of loads and loads of stuff on it. I'll just show you some of the things. Like there's loads and loads of um, models you can download and make you know, from all things. Like here, phone holder, and then there's like ornament. Well, I wouldn't call them ornaments, but there's different kind of things. And then there's host pipe adapters and all, and you can search for them. But I've already downloaded that Jerry can I showed you. So we need to open this Chichu box. Chichu box which is the slicer for the new printer instead of this one which is Cura and we'll open this and we need to scale the jerry can to the right scale so it automatically opened the jerry can because I downloaded the file last but this is the like real life size if we go over here to the scale thing and change the X to uh, 13.52 press enter and that's it well it's um the right scale it's 132 scale but the best way to print this is actually on its corner so i'm going to rotate the x and y 45 degrees and there we are that's the way i'm going to print it so if i go up here and then if I, this is the supports, so if I add all the supports that there is required, that's basically it there. There's going to be a few, like this one here, I think I'm going to need, yeah, as you can see there, that's going to try and print in midair. So I'll need a wee support in there, just on that one. Yeah, there we go. So that should be able to print there now. And I'm not, I don't think there's any other bits that are like that. That wee bit there, no, not really. Just checking to make sure none of it's an island like that, the last bit. Nope. Seems to be all good. So we also need to make this hollow so it doesn't use as much resin up. So if I just hollow. I'll leave these settings the same and start. It'll just go down through it and make it hollow. And also, because it's hollow, we need a place to drain the resin. So if we just make a hole, or we'll make two holes, one in there. Oh, it's not hollowed enough. That. Yeah, there it is, it worked that time. So as you can see, we've got a hole there now. And it also gives you the sweet plug in case you want to fill the hole in, but I'm just going to leave the hole out of it. So that's one of them. I'm just going to print as many as I can, which will probably be four or five maybe. So if I just click clone, I'll go for six and see if we can fit them all on. I think we should be able to, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's eight jerry cans as you can see, all ready to print. They're all exactly the same, exact same supports and all. So now all we have to do is press slice. All the settings are already set up. You, I'm not going to change them much in this compared to the other printer, but. I'll just let that slice and then you can, we'll save it to the USB and take it to the printer. Okay, so as you can see there's the old printer there and this is the new printer. It works in a very different way. Instead of having a reel of this plastic, it has this here, um, it's resin and it cures under the light. There's a light in below here and it shines up and does each layer and cures it under the light. But I have the USB here with the file on it. So I'm just going to go around the back and plug it in, in here, and turn the machine on, turn the printer on, 
and then you can now take this here lid off. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what happens with this test. So if I turn the light on, it'll come up here in a minute, this here shape, as you can see. So if there was to be resin in there, that will cure in that there shape. But I can just stop that now. So all I need to do is pour a bit of resin into the tank, just to cover the bottom plus a wee bit extra. That should be enough there. So the good thing about this here printer is, because it's a light shine the whole way, it doesn't have to move much, just up and down. So it doesn't take as much to do more models. Like if I was to print one jerry can, it would take the same time to print eight as it does one. But now, now what we can do is go into the print thing and find the file. There it is. I missed it the first time. There's the picture of the eight jerry cans, and all you have to do is press play. Now the plate will come down into the resin and start curing. So with the orange cover back on, that means that the resin won't cure under like sunlight or natural light. It'll just cure under the UV light in the machine. But there isn't much to see whenever this printer's printing. Just um that there really and then it comes up a wee bit and does more and comes up but we'll wait an hour and 45 minutes and come back and it'll be done okay guys so the print has now finished and um, it went up there so i can turn the printer off now on the switch and take this off but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put this here wee piece on the where the build plate is to set it at an angle. So I just have to unscrew this and then I'm gonna do this over this because it drips sometimes. So just slide that in there and slide this onto there and tighten it up. And that'll let the access resin drip off um the plate. So I'll come back in about 10 minutes time whenever that's dripped off. Also whenever I'm working with the resin, whenever it's not cured, I wear gloves because it is uh, toxic in its uncured state. So I wear gloves and a mask. Just, but as soon as it's cured, you just set it in, you can either get a UV light or you can set it in the sun for a while. And it cures, so I just wear them until I get it off and get them cured. Okay, so it's been a little while. I've got, this is a wee bit of acetone for cleaning the access resin off. What I'm going to do now is just take this off and bring it over. And you can see there, that's what they look like now on the build plate. But you have to scrape, just basically scrape underneath the edge of them. And then you're able to get them off. Do the same for all of them. So obviously this is a little bit more messy than the normal FDM printing with the plastic, but you get a lot more detail as I'll show you in a minute. So now what you want to do, just what I'm going to do, is just give this wee scrape to get any access resin off. Okay, so that's pretty clean now. I can just get a piece of kitchen roll here and wipe it. So now the build plate's cleaned up so there's no resin on it now. It's just clean. So now just loosen this and put it back on the printer. And tighten it up for next time. Now we can put the lid back on as well. Cover and set that that's that done. So just give this a light. 
the next thing to do now is just clean off our tools we used. So now I'm just going to pick them out of the acetone with this water, or the, with this these tweezers. And just set them there. So there's what they look like. And you can it's hard to see just because it's clear blue, but I'll set them on this cardboard now. So now I've got all these on the cardboard. I'll just prop them up here, beside the window, in the attic here, and the sun. Even though there's no sun, there's still UV light, which will cure them. Okay, so them ones are curing now, but earlier on I actually made another one. Just as a test, and this is what it looks like after it's been all painted up. It looks really good, really, really good. You can see all three handles and the wee lid and all perfectly. And if you might not be able to pick it up on camera, but you can see the wee... Oh, no, you can't. There's a wee 20 liter sign up just above the wee design in the middle. There's a 20 liter um, number, and you can see it. But this here has come out really, really good. And... I would never get this quality on the other 3D printer, but I can on this one. So I'm going to be printing out loads more wee details like this here, to do, so I will, and uh, I'll show you them in another video. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. This has been the first video 3D printing with the new printer. Bye.